Hello everyone, welcome to a short video of RunAI describing distributed workloads in RunAI platform. Distributed workload is the ability to split the training of a model among multiple worker nodes. Worker nodes work in parallel to speed up model training. It is often a requirement when researchers need more GPUs than exist on a single node. Let's see an example. So this is RunAI user interface. In this demo cluster, you can see that I have two GPU nodes with eight GPUs on each node. There are some running workloads already in the cluster, which uh, related to different projects, which allocated two GPUs of the total amount of GPUs that uh, we have in this cluster. Let's click here on the jobs tab and see that we have the, here the list of the jobs, their status, the projects that they are related to. Let's click here on the new job button. This is the place that we are creating new job uh, in RunAI user, user interface. And under training, I will select the projects. Let's select uh, team A. And you can see here on the top left, I will load distributed template for my demo with a pre fields we need for a job submission. So this is the image that we are going to use. This is a Docker image that contains a, a startup script that runs a deep learning Harvard based workloads under the hood. You can see that distributed training is applied. And this is the place that we are going uh, to choose the number of GPUs that we are want to use on each process. So two process with, let's pick a six GPUs, for example. This means a total amount of 12 GPUs for this job. Let's pick a new name. Job number three. Let's click on the submit button here. And now we have new job in the list. So let's click on this new job. So here we will see some general information about this job. You can see the container is creating. And now we will we can see here that RunAI's scheduler is allocated this job on two different nodes. And if I click on the pods, so now I have three new pods two workers, one launcher, they are already running. And if we go back to the overview, we can see now that we have new job for team A. Let's 